Hi guys, today I want to talk about pain and that is a topic that we can all share because if you are alive you must have gone through a period in your life when it was simply painful, painful, painful. Now, obviously we go through either physical or mental pain and um, I think it's always intertwined, meaning right now I'm going through a physical pain which is causing a mental strain and vice versa. If you uh, go through depression, for example, you, you cause with that or that depression causes physical strain. So that's a very nice thing to realize in any case. Um, right now I'm going through a severe, severe lower back pain, which literally paralyzes my left leg uh, in a way that the whole nerve that goes all the way down your leg is inflamed. And that means that it's so painful, <laughs> it's so painful, you cannot sleep, you cannot uh, sit for longer, and so, and so on and so forth. Um, so it's really, really painful. And, you know, for the longest time, my attitude towards pain was to avoid it, to numb it, to get rid of it as soon as possible because I need to keep moving. And pain came, um, which is nice. Um, I mean, maybe you get a little holiday for a couple of days, but then, you know, you're like, pain, could you move out of my way? And so we use pills, we, we go to professionals, we, you know, uh, we get taken care of the symptom, which is pain. And then, then we move on. But lately, when the pain came again, in my specific case with the lower back pain, I asked myself, why? Why is this happening again? I'm 30 years old. You know, people are telling me you should be um, on the top of your energy, basically. It's like the... the, the the, the time in your life when you should be most productive and so on and so forth. I'm not saying the last couple of months were not productive, they were extremely productive. But right now, not so much. So, if you want to apply this video for your specific case, think about those moments in your life which caused you pain? Was it physical? Was it mental? What were the situations? I promise you, if they keep coming back, there is a reason, there is a pattern and you need to be like a detective and you need to figure it out. <sighs> so, I can give you an example. So I, um, I got back pain. So what was going on? Was I lifting something heavy? Yeah, partially. I was traveling. So for like after, I think, three or four months of uh, working from home, um, working in a new job, really, hustling, you know, um, I went for a little trip to Prague. And already as I was traveling by train, I could feel my back, you know, um, if you know lower back pain, you know what I'm talking about, you can feel like something's off. And then I get off in Prague and my, my legs are like, you know, it's like, like your lower back is like, isn't strong enough anymore. And like your legs kind of like are not supported anymore. So I ran to the pharmacy, got some pills, got some bandages, whatever, 
you know, those ones that are warm, that warm your back. I kind, if that kind of helped, I numbed the pain <laughs> completely, survived the trip, it was very painful. Then I came home and I was like, what's going on? And when I get, got back home, the pain became even more severe. Now, I talked to my father and he was like, well, 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 well would you look at that? Don't you realize that whenever you travel somewhere, anywhere, just like going from your place of residency somewhere else, which is a longer trip, you always come back like destroyed physically. Like your back gets inflamed, you get a cold, blah, blah, blah. And like, he's right. He is right. But that's crazy. Like, I cannot just stay home forever. Like, I want to be able to travel. So why is this happening to me? I didn't know. I didn't know. I really didn't know. I thought about, like, um, when did it happen for the very first time? Okay, I, I had a moment. I remember it clearly. I went to Germany. It was... I was... A student at university it was a summer job I went there I worked there for a month and then after the month after one month my back like just cracked I couldn't walk I couldn't move my legs were like wh whenever I wanted to walk they like betrayed me and so my my father actually had to travel all the way back from Slovakia to Germany to rescue me take me home and then I slowly recovered somehow at home. And this was like 10 years ago. And then it happened again and again and again, once again, whenever I decided to leave home. Why? Why? And so, I decided to talk to that pain, to address that pain I was feeling like. So I was like, dear pain, I see you, I see you, you're here, you must have a message. You wouldn't just show up with no message. What's going on? Why are you here? What's the purpose of this? What are you trying to make me do or not do? Like, what? And the pain was very straightforward and said, I came to paralyze you, to make sure you stay home, you stay put, you stay in prison, and I won't leave until you pay your debt. Like, what? What's a debt? You know, like, I mean, I can get angry, okay? But it's not like I hurt anybody in this life, incredibly, like, shh. <laughs> no, like, like, what's that? What are you talking about? Now, I've worked with my past lives. Um, I did regressions, I did, you know, constellations and such. So I know about my past lives, but I thought I kind of healed it. But no, 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 no. Well, in one of my past lives, I was actually hurting people and um, they were actually imprisoned. Uh, so these pains that I'm going through in this life are a reminder to start doing something in life which will pay this debt. Now, the debt we mean in the spiritual realm by um, whenever you could have helped in the past life and you didn't, 
you have to pay back in this life. So whenever you found yourself in a situation where, you know, there was somebody who really needed help and you were there, you were available, you had the means and you didn't help, you will meet that person and you will get a chance to help that person in this life. That is to set an example. But if you hurt like more people, let's say you were a soldier or, you know, uh, a captain and, you know, whatever. Like think of all the historical events that happened, concentration camps, the, the, the wars, you name it. The, the... There were many opportunities for us to mess up, let's put it that way, and to actually make big as mistakes in our past lives. Now, if you're like, Veronica, this is crazy, um, then don't watch. If you don't believe in past lives, um, okay, whatever, go away. Uh, this is for people who actually uh, believe in the incredible power of the universe and of the, of the synchronicities in between in between lives and everything that really ever happens to you. So if you've, you have that pain of yours and it could be heartbreak, many, many people uh, go through very difficult relationships and get hurt again and again and again. Uh, whatever the cycle of pain it is in your specific case, Think about the moment when it began, what was the very first event and then literally write it down like when did it happen again and again and again and what are, what do these situations have in common? What was going on? Because there is some something which is linking all these events together. Now, um, what's up message? Welcome in my life. Welcome to my life. Um, so if you have the cycles, look at them, try to analyze them. And um, then you can either either play this with your friend and be like, you will play my pains. And you just say, your friend can just say, I am your pains and this is my message for you. And they will know what to say. It's literally this simple. You can either do it with a friend or you can do it alone if you want. And you can be like, you, you can play it to yourself. You can be, I am my pains and this is the message. Okay. Um... I did the same before shooting this video because I sat down here, I wanted to do the work and and the, the pain was just like, how am I supposed to make a living now? I can't even sit, like, hello, like, and so I was like, okay, the pain is again like shouting my name. So I'm like, okay, pains, what do you want today? And the pain said, make a video about this and explain to people uh, what is the purpose of pain and what they are doing wrong, which is they are trying to numb the pain, to get rid of the pain, everything I've just said, basically. So. We need to understand what is the purpose of the pain. Now, so you can role play with your friend, you can role play with yourself and be like, I am the pain I feel right now, and this is my message for you. And you will get an answer. You will you will like the answer will will just speak through you. It works. Try it out. And so you will get a message from that pain and that should make things clear for you now if you if it doesn't work for any reason reach out to me i can hook you up with somebody who knows how to do it 
or I can do it with you. Find me on Instagram, S-A-N-O-B-K-A. Message me and I'll, I'll do it with you uh, for free, like anytime, okay? So you will do the role play. You will understand, okay? The, you will get the message, like I try to stop you. I try to punish you, to protect you, to get your attention, right? It's always about getting attention. Like the pain just wants you to sit down and be like, listen, will you just listen to what I have to say? Now, if you don't listen, you um, can actually heal the pain on the conscious level with the medicine, you know, but you will get it again. Eventually, it'll come again. It, it'll come and get you again. And it'll be more powerful, more painful. This level of pain, I haven't experienced before. And now it's like subtle. I, I already went to some professionals. I, you know, did some things that actually helped to lessen the pain. Now, if the message, like the, the a very important question to ask the pain, what do I have to do for you to leave? I mean, we don't want the pain to at least in that form, we, we don't want that level of pain to keep coming back. Um, and so what do I have to do for you to leave? And like my pains were like, oh, we are not going anywhere until you pay your debt, which is like, I need to literally just help a lot of people, but I cannot do it from, you know, one day to another like how can i actually help people if i feel this pain all the time like it's impossible so i made a deal you can make a deal with that pain with that issue and be like look i get the message i need to be doing this and that um but i need you to like tune it down a little because i can't work now like i literally can't work now and um, that way I cannot actually do what you ask me to do. So it's like impossible. So let's have a deal. You know, I'll, I'll do what you want me to do, but you, you need to tune it down. You need to like release those um, um, chains at least a little and you, you can get a deal. So uh, brush up your negotiation skills and get a deal. Now this... I realize how does this all sounds, you know, like all these spiritual crazy people talking to pain, but look how well we actually deal with pain. Look, look in the streets, look at the people, so many people, obese, sick, afraid, full of fear not healthy looking we need to change the way we handle pain and um, now when i got my message i was crying i was bawling uh, because obviously i was a monster in one of the lives which every single one of us were or was um and I was like, I feel like a monster, like, whoa. Um, like, you know, what can I do? And then I realized that the whole universe is really a lot. It's very neutral. They don't care you were a monster. All they care about is your actions now. Like, are you trying now? And, um, and so when I realized that I was able to let go of the victim mode and then I had one issue because, you know, you know, you get the, your deal, you're like, okay, I have to do this. Uh, in my specific case, the leg, right? The leg, like you cannot walk. I actually quit my job. It was a wake up call. I, 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 I was like... You know what? Because that pain stops you. So I was just like 
staring at the walls and I was like, God damn it. God damn it. If that pain went away, and it really was a high level of pain, like what would I run towards, meaning activities that I do? Would it be my job? No. Absolutely not. That was my answer. So I quit. Um, wasn't the, the easiest thing to do, but it had to be done. Okay. So I quit my job. And I kept thinking, so what, what do I do? <laughs> I'm paralyzed with no job. Good, disabled Veronica. <laughs> All right, let's get some government support. <laughs> that should pay the bills, right? In any case. So, um, yeah, the, the pain stops you. You start thinking, uh, okay, okay. And basically I realized that pain was pushing me to step into my purpose. Literally with my freaking leg, step into my purpose. And I know what the purpose now is, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And it's just the idea of the purpose of that, of that goal is it's beautiful, which is to help people. It's simple. Um, to help with um, with what I do with people, with my clients. Um, we do channelings. We do constellations. We help them understand any issue they face in their life. Any painful or extremely um, random issue in their life. And we simply just get guidance from the universe. Spiritual work, very simple, very straightforward, very practical, pragmatic, and that's what I need to do. Um, and that's what I do. And, and so that was the message. But still, I kept thinking how do I address the pain? Because in my case, it, the, the, the message was quite cruel. It was like, you know, it, it was just cruel. I was just like, can you be like more kind or something? <laughs> um, but uh, well, as I said, uh, it was quite neutral. Um, so I was like, because whenever the freaking pain would hit again, uh, I would be like, God damn it, pain, right? And I like, I cannot be, like, it was just pushing me lower and lower and lower. And my, my frequency was just like on the floor. And I'm like, but it hurts. It hurts. Like, how, how do I do this when it hurts so much? And how do I not curse pain? in that moment. And I, I understand the vicious cycle. If the pain is there and you hate the pain, it intensifies. It's like, that, that's how it works. Because the universe hears, oh, pain, pain. Why are you here, pain? So it intensifies the volume of the pain. Um, and I got an answer, like how to handle that mindset, how to actually not make things worse for you. And um, the answer was and is, whenever pain appears again, just say, thank you. Thank you for showing up again and directing me into my purpose. Okay. 
I think this could be universal because I think any any kind of pain directs you to your purpose in one way or another or to healing right it could be if it if the pain comes from your relationships it's most like you need to, most likely you need to heal your your um, yourself some traumas and such so whenever the pain comes i stop I'm like, thank you for being so loud again. Any other specific message? Anything else you want me to do today? Or is it just a regular kick in the butt? <laughs> so that's it. So to sum up, whatever pain you feel, don't try to numb it. Many people tried with alcohol, with drugs pills literally I felt like maybe I will just like you know how people uh, you know they have the phantom pain is it called phantom in English I don't know but it's like when people um, lose their leg and they feel the pain even though the leg is not there anymore I, I think that's very similar to the pain I, I, I experience now as well and uh, yeah so um, I think I'm losing my mind a little right now <laughs> I mean my thoughts are maybe just not making uh, maybe I'm not able to connect them as well as I usually am but I, I think you, you are able to follow I'm sure you are able to follow um, so yeah understand your pain see, see it as a messenger and obviously do the steps to lessen the pain, but make sure to understand why it came in first place. Why did you come? What is your purpose? And literally just role play with that issue you are dealing with. It could be headache. I, I, I know a person, constant headaches, like migraines. And he, he's like, oh... Um, Ah, I could use it. Like, it's it's so painful, I don't even, you know. I'm in a trance. Wow. We bend. We cripple into that pain. Like, if we don't... Um, if we don't address it properly, we tend to... change our form and just like bent it's like when your back uh, hurts and like you, let's say you cannot be straight you, you cannot have a straight back and you just keep you kept being bent oh my gosh I speak like a freaking <laughs> oh if some native people are listening they're like what is this uh, East European person talking about? Uh, I mean, if, if that pain breaks you, you can. One of the solutions is like you just you you just break and you just stay in that position and you are broken. You see people like with their head like that, like stuck somehow. So don't suppress to that pain. Understand the pain and have a deal with the pain. Heal it and, and move on. And uh, gratitude. Thank you, pain. Thank you for coming here, for pushing me to live my purpose. I wish I knew this when I was going through bipolar disorder adventure <laughs> for like 10 years as well. I was trying to, like, the pain was so strong. It's like, you just want to numb the pain. It, it's mental pain. Like, mental pain is so difficult because it's just so tricky. It's so difficult to explain. Um, people maybe sometimes struggle to relate. 
you feel like they won't understand, at least when it's physical, you can be like, this leg, you know, it hurts me here and there, and, you know, and people are like, oh, 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 it, it's more, mm, you're able to articulate it in words more, the physical pain, I feel like. So I've, I've had my share of mental pain, now I get to experience physical pain, so thank you, pain, for being so creative and for, for showing up in my life in so many different forms. I really admire your creativity. Uh, <laughs> I saw a TikTok video today, uh, which made one lady quite famous on TikTok, and she was like, calling, yes, I'm the regular phone caller, um, and she was like, yeah, I even make the sound <laughs> as a regular phone, and she's like, Jesus, I'm ready to go, I, I, I'm i done with this shit, I'm ready to go, I'm done, I think sometimes people actually choose to just like, you know what, I'm done here, I, I, let me just restart, so they just like, I think some people actually do choose to just let go, suicide, and so on and so forth. Now, the last thing I will mention is, there is always a reason for that pain, even which also stems from something in this life as well. Like it doesn't necessarily, like if it's huge pain, most likely it is trying to uh, connect you with some story from the past life. But there, there might be some clues in this life as well. It could be an excuse. You come up, you create this pain to leave a job that you actually don't like, excuse me, or to maybe get attention from your parents or your loved ones. So, you know, um, there are definitely reasons in the realm of this life as well, but I think to be able to remove uh, the pain completely in time, is to understand the complexity of that pain and its connection with uh, the past lives. I truly believe that. I truly, truly believe that. And that's it. I think this video is uh, long enough that the pain is trying to get my attention again, so I'm going to talk to it again. You know, regular stuff I do in the evenings. <laughs> Bigger pain. I my pain. What is the message for today? What is the message for today? So I hope this helps. <laughs> oh, if you are in pain, my friend, I feel you. Okay, I feel you. If it's mental, if you feel low, if you are like depressed as fuck, I feel you. I've been there. Like I've been depressed for like. Oh my gosh, for like so many times in the past, but um, just hold on, hold on, and please just do this little exercise and be like, I am depression, and this is my message for you. I am anxiety, and this is my message for, for you. And you talk to yourself, and you get that message, and you download that message from the universe. That's how it works. Does it make sense? Do I sound like a lunatic? I hope not. <laughs> so um, talk to that pain, whatever you are going through. Talk to that issue and ask what's going on. You want to understand it. You want to, because with understanding comes healing. With understanding comes relief and release, really. It's just like, oh, okay, I get it now. It's like, okay, it makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Once it makes sense, it's easier to accept. Because when you don't understand, it's like, why is this happening to a beautiful creature like myself? Why? Bah. So, 
I'm turning into a demon in the evening, so I better finish this video before that happens. Okay, I hope you get it, guys. If you if you watch until this minute, I'm sure you're able to follow my cuckoo mind. Take care of yourselves. Hold on. You can do it. You can do it. I can do it. We can do it. <sighs> I'll see you next time.